In this super quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the promotional pop-up font in Squarespace for all text with one line of CSS. Now, if you hop into marketing and you select promotional pop-up and you toggle it on, you'll see your pop-up here. Now, you'll notice we've got a lot of different options for text. If you scroll down to style, you can use this menu here to change the font for the headline, the body, the button, the newsletter sign-up font, the disclaimer font, and even mobile specific fonts, and even mobile specific fonts, headline, body, and button. Lots of options there, but I use one main font for my site, and I don't want to spend the time to click through all of those, so I'm going to add one line of code. Check it out. All of the fonts in that form have now updated for my brand font, Poppins. All I've said is SQS pop-up overlay, asterisk, font family, Poppins. That asterisk right there is a catch-all that says, hey, browser, anytime you see this particular property for any content inside this selector, in this case, the pop-up, I want you to change that property to this value. This is my quick way of saying all of the fonts that could be in here, go ahead and make them that specific font. Now, if you want to change something individually, definitely use your menu over here. But if you just want to change them all like I did, that's a super quick workaround that's going to save you time. That's SQS pop-up overlay, asterisk, and then the font family that's already installed on your site. In my case, I used Poppins. You're going to add this code site-wide so it shows up anywhere the pop-up is. To do that, navigate to design and then select custom CSS. This is where you're going to want to paste that code. I can't show the custom CSS panel and the pop-up at the same time, but trust me, that's where it goes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Definitely give me a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't enabled the pop-up on your Squarespace website, check out this next tutorial.